Hey there, Julene Jordan here at CSX in the Kitchen. My guest today, Ryan Hello. Logan. Hi, Hello. Ryan. Hey. Glad you're here, Ryan. I know, I'm excited. He produces the morning show at CSX. You've been there how long now? Ooh, like three years? Yeah, you've been... Three, four years, something like that? Cranking it out. Yep, so yep. he's got to get up early in the morning, so we're going to get this cranked out. I picked a pretty simple one, and we're going to make shrimp tacos today, and uh, something that Ryan has never had in his life un avocado so that's what it looks like this is what it looks like okay. and you want to feel the texture of it you want it when you make guacamole you want soft. it a little bit soft okay. yeah so we've got the shrimp marinating right here i'm going to turn up the uh the heat on that and we'll get that um all nice and and crusty and cooked it only takes a couple of minutes Sweet. which you probably know so Sweet. yeah we did a little lime juice you don't want to put too much lime juice in for the marinade because it'll cook it like a ceviche um, and a little olive oil and onion powder cumin uh, chili powder salt and pepper so that's what's in there so let's uh, start out by we're gonna make guacamole let's do it do you want me to do the, the first one for you yeah show me how show to you? Do it real quick okay so the first thing you do is you cut it lengthwise you just kind of go like this okay just like that and then you twist it okay all right then you're going to take that seed out like that just be really careful when you're taking that out Perfect. okay all right and then what i'm going to have you do is scoop here we'll use this spoon right here scoop that avocado right in there and I don't like my avocado like super creamy. I like it with a little chunk. So I'm, you, the first time you try guacamole, yeah. you're going to have a little chunk in it. Okay? All right. Am I All doing right. both of these? Yep. You're going to do both of those. And then you're going to do another one. It's your big test, Ryan. Oh, jeez. Right? right? <laughs> as long as I don't cut myself. <laughs> well, Ryan, you've been experimenting in the kitchen quite a bit lately. I've been starting to. I've been watching a lot of uh, shows. Oh, this one came out bad. Oh, no, that's all right. Just scrape it off. No bigs. That's the one thing about cooking that I always tell people. Don't get too crazy. It'll be all right. It's just food. It's just I like, know. it's just radio, right? Yeah, it's just radio. <laughs> all right. Okay, now be careful. Put it on the board so you don't cut yourself. Yeah, and then just go down and around. Look at you. Oh, well, that's not a straight line. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> it does not have to be. So now twist it. Yeah, look. Boom. Good job. Now down on this. You did it. Yeah. Just go kick and turn it. Uh, Do it again. Harder. Twist. Boom. Hey! Right. So that's how you do an avocado. So you scrape that while I put the marinated shrimp into the pan. And you want it pretty hot because you want to get a, a nice little sear on it. And we could use the grill pan. Whatever you want to do. Um, but I'm going to heat up those tortillas over here on the grill pan. And don't overcook your shrimp because you don't want it to be rubbery. As soon as it's pink, those shrimpies are done. So it's got a lot of nice flavor. It was just uh, Cinco de Mayo and uh, didn't get a chance to shoot a show before Cinco de Mayo, so we're extending it. Did you do anything for Cinco de Mayo? Uh, no. No? No, I sat at the bar for a little bit by myself. But. <laughs> hey, sometimes that's fun, isn't it's it? All right, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so now you're going to put these ingredients into the guacamole. So those, those are the spices. All of it? The herbs and spices. Yep. So we have cumin. We have the same kind of things that went into the marinade. Cumin, on, onion powder, jalapeno? chili powder, jalapeno, and garlic, and then onion. I would put about oh, the tomato, put all that in there. And then I would just put maybe, I don't know, a third of that all right. right there. So these are already starting to get done. I've got this heated up a little bit. I'm going to put, Ryan likes corn tortillas. I like. Yeah, we had a disagreement on this one, right? Well, yes, but it's, but it's okay. I like a little flour. You like a little corn. Yeah. No big deal, right. right? Cool. So we want those to get nice and pliable. And I'm going to turn it up just a little bit so you can see. You can see they're starting to get pink. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just kind of mash Start it. Yeah, it. just mash it. Like a nice chunk mash, if that's a culinary term. Chunk mash, yeah. It's a chunk mash. I've heard it before. <laughs> so what's your favorite kind of food of all time? Honestly, it's got to be uh, 
probably like an old people's food, but chicken pot pie. Oh, yeah. Uh, ever since I was little when my mom made that, got super fired up every time, so. It's so good. It's, so, it's comfort food. You like comfort food, right? Oh, yeah. I think if, if you live around here and live in Michigan, I think you got to, right? Yeah, but now That's all it is. it's spring and we, we're going to have a little lighter fare. Got to get the beach body back. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do, yeah, we, yeah, we're doing that. Okay, we're, we're on that. Okay, so these are heating up. Oh, nice, nice. We'll do it on both sides. And then I also made a little radish salad right here. And it's uh, radishes, lime juice. Does this all sound familiar? Got some scallions in there too. And um, you know what, well, I'll cut up a little cilantro for you. How about that? All right, yeah, cool. Because I've got you busy. Got you busy over there. Getting this smashed up here. And with the cilantro, some people don't like it. So if you're having a party with Mexican food, I would make one without cilantro and one with cilantro because apparently there's some kind of gene that if you, ha if you have this certain gene, it makes cilantro taste like soap. Really? No joke. Yeah, no joke. So these look pretty good, don't they, Ryan? Oh yeah, absolutely. Starting to brown up. Yeah, but like I said, you don't- They're gonna get crispy, right? Well, there's a little brown on them. A little brown. I'm making a mess over here, but I think- That's okay. That's okay. Messy is my name. It's okay, so we'll throw some cilantro in there, just mix that up and we're good with that. And also, a little sour cream. I'm gonna come behind you. So this sour cream that I have going here, we'll put some cilantro in that. So what we'll do is we'll build these tacos with a little of the guac first, and then we'll put a little bit of the uh, cilantro sour cream, a dollop. We'll do ya. Dollop. That's good. Perfect. That good? That's great job, All Ryan. Right, cool. Good job. And then we'll put a little <laughs> bit of the radish on top. Does that sound good? All right. Um, do you want to take a taste of the guacamole? Yeah, sure. Here, give it a shot. Let's see how he likes guacamole, everybody. Oh yeah. See, I think I like it like that more with mixed in with some stuff. Yeah. Well, that tastes good though. Good. Well, let's. I'm gonna Those build you your taco. How's that sound? All right. Let's see it. Okay, so look, that's nice. It's got a little warmth to it, a little pliable. Nice and, and you just tell me how much you want in here because I don't want to overload it too much. That's probably good right there. Yeah, that should work. Okay, so now we're going to do some guac. The guac that you made for the first time. Now you can make this for your friends and family. Yeah, it's easy too. It is. Just throw a bunch of stuff together, smash it all up. Yeah, and put whatever you want in there, you know? Right. Um, okay, then we'll do a little bit of this. It's kind of a crema, they call it, with the cilantro. And, and that's just regular sour cream with it, right? Regular sour cream, or you can do creme fraiche, which is like a Mexican one. Okay. Okay, and then when we use that, I'm just gonna, my hands are clean, promise. I trust you. Okay, good. That's good, Ryan. <laughs> okay. Try it out. I want you to give that a taste. I'm gonna get mine going here. How is it? Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is the shrimp good? It's perfect. It's not rubbery? Mm -mm. Okay, good. So this is the most simple thing that you can make. It's really in with a lot of the cooking that I do on this show. It's in the, the prep and they call it mise en place. Have you ever heard of that? No. It's a French term where you get everything laid out. All laid out. Go. Oh yeah, you know what you need in here? Here, open that baby up for a second. Yeah, you need a little lime in there. So is this oh, yeah. something that you would make? Look how messy we are. This looks like your office. No. Uh, <laughs> it does. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay. No one, no, no one will know. They'll make me clean it. <laughs> I'll help you just because I just outed you. <laughs> I like it with the uh, radishes. And, Do you? Yeah. And with the, the, the dressing lime. that's in the, yeah, with the lime and The stuff lime and everything. Do you want another one? I'll make you another one. Yes, please. Okay. Good. I'm so glad you like it. Yeah, I like it a lot. I really like those radishes for some reason. I think the lime adds With a lot them, to yeah. it. You know, look, I got mine a little overdone, but we're gonna give it a shot. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Good, right? Mmm. Excellent. Here. Train that up. It's hard to talk and do a show at the same time. 
but we're gonna make this other one this is how you do it everybody shrimp tacos with all kinds of flavor and this is nice uh, spring fare very fresh right yeah it is yeah okay so you're gonna good, try this at home spring. yeah I will because okay. it's easy yeah especially with the shrimp you don't have to cook it long right you just throw it on and I mean what was that two or three minutes and it was ready to go yeah and the marinade um, you can do it anywhere between 10 minutes or you can marinate that for 24 hours, but if you do it for 24 hours, don't put the lime juice in because it will cook it. Okay, right, right. Okay. I, I, and at just the time that we did it, and I think it worked. I mean, you can taste all the seasoning in with the shrimp. And yeah, that was about a, well. a half hour. Right. So, yeah, and this this little radish dish that's kind of that's a more authentic Mexican thing to do, and it gives you a little crunch, right? Yeah, it's a cool, and it's a cool, yeah, just to add it to it. All right, well. Shrimp tacos with Ryan. Love Thanks, it. buddy. Yep, absolutely. All right. Thanks. We'll see you next time on CSX in the kitchen.